Hello everybody and welcome to the class. We have been doing a lot of things here in class and I hope that all of you are practicing at home as well. That will make things easy for you. Practice will naturally make you feel more confident, more comfortable with the language. Well, we have done a lot of things in Japanese. Uh, we have learned how to tell time, we have learned how to tell, how to go to a certain place, also about adjectives, whether a certain thing is hot or whether a certain thing is cold, the degree of adjectives also we have done. Then we have been talking a lot about verbs, different uh, forms of verbs. For example, we have done the polite form of the verb, we have done the negative positive forms of the verb, used words which would tell you about the future tense. Then we have also done the continuous form which is uh, te imas form. We have done how to make requests, how to invite people. Then of late we have been doing in our previous lessons a lot of te form of the verb. You have learned different te forms. Today also we will continue with te form and we will do something which is very, very important here in Japanese, which is how to ask for permission. So well, today we will do how to ask for permission, whether you say yes or you say no. But before that, we will do our assignments as we always do and let us see what the first assignment is. So well, there are a lot of uh, pictures here in this assignment and you are to write kanji characters for these pictures. So let us see the first one, it looks like an ear, Mimi and everything is in kanji and hiragana. So, you practice your hiragana as well. I am sure by now you are very comfortable with hiragana. We are almost here towards the end of our series. So, well you should be comfortable with hiragana and katakana as well. So, the first one is mimi and the second one is me which is I and let us see what the third one is. Well, the picture is of a hand and hand is te or simple te in hiragana. Then we have ashi and kuchi, kuchi is mouth, kuruma, densha. Densha you can see is a combination of this character on top and then this character which you have done which is a field and of course, sha which is kuruma. So, now you will notice that kuruma has two readings kuruma and sha over here. Then we have three apples which is Mitsu. It could be san also, but when you are counting small irregular objects, then su is used over here, mitsu. And again, we have oranges, so well, five oranges, itsutsu. And then we have one person standing over here, so hito or it could also be hitori, one person standing. Counter for people is nin, one is an exception which is hitori and again two is again an exception which is futari. Then we again have kanji characters here in group A and then some hiragana written over here in group B. Group A is verbs, 
you can see the verbs over here, the kanji is here and of course, as we have hiragana after the verb to show us the tense, we have the hiragana written over here. So, the first one is kuru, which is to come. Then the second one is iku, sumu, sumu is to live, hanasu is to talk as you already know, kiku, taberu, yomu, miru, nomu. So, these are your verbs in hiragana over here. You can practice the kanji, it is given very clearly all the strokes you can see very, very clearly the stroke order is given wherever we have done these verbs in whichever lesson. So, you can look it up and get the stroke order from there. Then we have fill in the blanks with words given below. Jisho to, jibiki to, dochira ga benri desu ka. Now, this a to, b to, dochira ga is a typical pattern which shows comparison or preference. Kuruma no hou ga jitensha yori raku desu. Raku is convenient or easy. No hou ga. Jidensha yori. This is better than jidensha or more easy to use than jidensha. Sugi no nichi yobi ni nani o shimasu ka? Ni over here is for time. Watashi wa ice cream yori chokureto ga suki desu. Suki is like and as I have told you earlier, always with ski particle ga will come. So, before ski particle ga will be used and yori you already know is comparison more than. Then we have chiukar yori wa totemo oishi desu. Totemo is another way of showing degree, very very or exceptionally is what it means. Chiukar yori is Chinese cuisine. Then anata wa rao san o shitte imasu ka? I think I remember telling you that shitte imasu means to know and the negative is shiri masen. Please not shitte imasen. It is shiri masen. Anata wa rao san o shitte imasu ka? Do you know rao san? Then Tanaka san wa picnic e ikanai kamoshiremasen. This is something we did last time. Kamoshiremasen is when you are not very sure, you are only 50 percent sure of what you are going to do, then kamoshiremasen is used, and before kamoshiremasen, always verb will be in plain form. If you say ikanai kamoshiremasen, then Kanose of not going, possibility of not going is more. If you say iku kamoshiremasen, then possibility of going is more. So, please remember with kamoshiremasen, it is only 50 50 chance of whatever you are saying. Negative and positive is going to be governed from here, whether it is in the negative or it is in the positive, meaning more towards negative and more towards positive. Watashi wa kaisha e iku, sumori ga arimasen. Now again, sumori is something we did last time in our last lesson. Sumori means I intend to. So, it is my intention and not someone else's intention. Iku sumori ga arimasen. So, even before tsumori, verb will be in plain form. 
please remember that iku tsumori ga arimasen i do not plan to go or intend to go if you put ikanai tsumori ga arimasen watashi wa kaisha e ikanai tsumori ga arimasen then i plan to go to my office then tanaka san wa osaki o nomanai to omoi mas omoi mas means to think nomanai to omoi mas this is something we did last time again so please refer to that nomanai to omoi mas is i think i will not drink and again nomu to omoi mas is i think i will drink so again before omoi mas verb is in plain form please remember that these words are given over here for you you had to fit in these words well the next one is change the words into proper forms and make proper sentences meaningful sentences so the first one is koko de te o arau the verb is in plain form and with kudasai as we always use te kudasai aratte kudasai then kengaku ni iku kara hayai bus ni notte kudasai quickly hayaku bus ni notte kudasai please get on the bus very very quickly now norimas there is one verb that you have done which takes particle ni which is ai mas ai mas will take particle ni as we have already done in class now today you have another verb over here which is noru noru is to board so you board a train you board a bus you get on a bus the particle will always be ni bus ni norimas then sha ni norimas also another one is you have done it in sentences hairu class ni hairimas enter a <coughs> class kyoshitsu ni hairimas enter a kyoshitsu which is again a class so you enter a certain place please remember that particle ni will come with these verbs there are more of them but well for the time being you have these three you can remember these then sha o orimas oriru is to oriru is the plain form to get off then sha o orite kara senta made 10 pun gurai aruki mas now why te kara over here and what does it mean well te kara means that this action generally happens or is for the future it has not happened then sha o orite kara watashi wa mainichi senta made 10 pun gurai aruki mas a statement then we have nara wa shizuka de kirei na machi desu you have done this joining two adjectives then kono mise wa hamburger ga oishikute yasui desu i adjective and i adjective when you join kute is then we have watashi wa chisakute karui teipuri koda ga hoshi desu hoshi will always take ga karui is light rao san wa raishu kuni e kaerimasu now what should it be it is kamoshire nai over there it should be in plain form kaeru kamoshire nai nai is plain form over here for kamoshire masen then we have genki ni naritai kara kusuri o nomimas ni naritai genki ni naritai want to be in good health ni narimas sensei ni naritai sensei ni narimas i hito ni naritai i hito ni narimas i kodomo ni narimas so please remember 
Nadi mass will take particle ni. Now, there is a small conversation, just listen to that. There are a lot of new things that we have to do. So, we will do those. Rao san, do shimashita ka? Sensei, kodomu no gakko kara denwa ga arimashita. Watashi wa gakko ika na kereba na arimasen kara. Ja, hayaku itte ne. Demo jikkyo shite masu kara, ima itte mo ii desu ka? Daijobu yo. Jikkyo no koto wa shinpai shinakute mo ii desu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Did you understand the conversation? Well, I will read it out once to you and then explain what needs to be done. Sensei and Rao san are talking. Rao san, do shimashita ka? Sensei, kodomo no gakko kara denwa ga arimashita. Watashi wa gakko e ikanakereba narimasen. This I am sure is all right. Sensei kodomo no gakko kara denwa ga arimashita. There was a phone call. Watashi wa gakko e ikanakereba narimasen. Means I have to go. Ja, hayaku itte ne. Quickly you can please leave. You may please leave. Now ne over here is because he is a teacher and he is much older and he can use this ne informally with Rao san. Rao san cannot do the same with his teacher. Demo jikke no shite imasu kara ima itte mo ii desu ka? Demo, but I am doing an experiment. Is it all right? Is it all right if I go now? Daijobu yo, it is all right. Jikke no koto wa shinpai shinakute mo ii desu. You do not have to bother about your experiment at the moment. And he says, arigato gozaimasu. So, there are a few new things over here which we will cover right away. But again, we have your script. You can see sensei, rao san in katakana. Then there is denwa, gakko, kodomo. Then you have daijobu, shinpai. So, all these words are there. You can practice them and the explanation is there. Sometimes, as I have always been telling, it sounds a little odd, but well, this is the translation. You can just go over it and try to see what you can catch from here. Well, now what we need to do over here is nakereba narimasen. As you can see, nakereba narimasen expresses that it is a must. You have to perform what is being said by the verb. It is necessary. You need to do it. So, this form actually tells you that it is a necessity. It is a must for you to do this activity. Now, what is it? Well, how do you make this form? Verb na ke reba nari masen. Now you will notice one thing that this is in masen, but I am insisting that it means must or have to do. You need to do this. So please remember this form, though it is in negative, but always meaning is that you have to do it. You must do as the verb is saying. Now, how is it made? Iki mas. Masen. Plain form is ika nai. Yomi masen. Yoma nai. Now, how will you make it? Remove the i from here. This is negative, you can see. Masen, plain form, nai, yoma nai, yoma nai. Remove this i from here and put ikana kereba nari masen. Though it is a little long, a little long, little tongue twisting. But once you get used to it, it is not that difficult at all. You can practice this like ikana kereba narimasen, yomana kereba narimasen, and other verbs like nomana kereba narimasen, kakana kereba narimasen, 
聞かなければなりません。食べなければなりません。So, any of these verbs you can practice loudly so that the sound of なければなりません gets very clearly inside you and you feel more comfortable with なければなりません。The sentence was 私は行かなければなりません。So, you can see from the example over here, 普通は休みですが、普通 is generally speaking, 休みですが、今度の日曜日に会社に行かなければなりません。So, generally it is a holiday, but this time or the coming Sunday or next Sunday, I have to go to office. I must go to my office. Now, over here, ni is given. And so far, with this verb, ikimas, kimas, and kaerimas, these two are in group 1. This is in group 3 over here. We have always used e ikimas. I have been telling you all along that we will use particle a with ikimas, kimas, and kairimas. Now, we are using something else over here. We are using particle ni. Why are we using particle ni over here? Particle ni with ikimas. Why are we doing that? Well, the reason is that this time you can always say a ikimas also, but your purpose is not known. You are going there, going to office with a certain purpose in mind. Thus, you are using ikana kereba nari masen. The purpose is very clear. The reason why you are going is very clear. Thus, ni is to be used. A is also all right. It will work, but if you will use ni, it is so much better and clear for the listener that the purpose is defined in your mind and the reason is very, very clear. So, please, ni over here is for that reason. Now, the second example is, ashita hapyo ga aru no de ronbun o yomana kereba narimasen, which is very, very obvious that if you have hapyo, if you have a presentation, if you have to do something next day in your thesis in front of your teachers, well, you need to practice before hand. So, you need to read it or you need to practice beforehand. So, yomana kereba narimasen or ashita hapyo ga aru no de aru kara ronbun no renshu o shina kereba narimasen. You can also use that. So, you can make different sentences and try to use na kereba narimasen which is a must. Well, now let us practice Rao san and Tanaka san. Tanaka san, sensei ni aitai desu ga, ja gakko e ikana kereba narimasen ne. If you want to meet your teacher, then you have to go to your school, your uh, daigaku. So, well, you can practice this, replace this with this and then you can replace gakko with any of this vocabulary over here and you can also replace ikana kereba narimasen depending on what verb you want to use with this. For example, you can say Tanaka san. Atama ga itai desu ga, and you can leave it incomplete because it is understood from context. And Tanaka would say, Ja, bioine ikana kereba nari masen. You have to go to the hospital. Once again, Tanaka san, nisan nichi mai kara, karada ga itai desu ga, karada is your body. You can say again, Oisha san ni, Oisha san is your doctor. Oisha san ni sodan shinakereba narimasen. Or Oisha san ni awana kereba 
narimasen. So, you have to go and meet the doctor. Again, Tanaka san jisho ga hoshi desu. I want a dictionary. Well, honya san e ikanakereba narimasen. Or you can again use this atama ga itai desu. Ja, kusuri o nomanakereba narimasen. You have to take a medicine. So, in this manner, you can practice all that is given over here and use nakereba narimasen with whichever verb you want to use. There is lot of uh, vocabulary here. Byoin, kusuri, honya, omiyage, hanaya. So, you can do all this and practice with your partner. Once again, I would like to tell you that please practice loudly. Now, we have been doing te form as I told you in the beginning and this is the easiest way, the best way, the most polite way to ask for permission. Now, what is it? Verb in te form, verb plus te, verb in te form that is which you have been doing itte, kaette, matte, tatte, yonde, nonde, benkyo shite plus mo i des ka. Is it all right if I do this is what it means. So, well you can see is used to ask permission to do something and it means it is all right if or may I. Is it all right please? So, you can see from the example, koko ni swatte mo i desu ka? Is it all right if I sit over here? Ima kaette mo i desu ka? Or saki ni kaette mo i desu ka? Saki ni means earlier than before you. Kaette mo i desu ka? Is it all right if I go now or before you? So, when you want to do something, generally you would, you are doing it in a group or you are asking for permission, this is the best way to ask, is it all right? If I do this, please may I do this? That is a polite way of asking. Now, we will practice over here and you will see how simple it is. It is not very difficult at all. Verb in te form, itte. Matte, tabete, atte, katte, plus mo i des ka is what we want to practice. The stay form you have done with kudasai, stay form with kudasai imas kara we just did in our exercises. So, well the same te form is over here verb in te form plus mo i desu ka. Now, practice using this te mo i desu ka. You can see it very clearly from here. Now, if you want to you have your exams or you are supposed to study, you are supposed to do your shukudai and just at that time you feel like watching TV or you feel like listening to music or you want to go play with your friends. So, what, what are you going to do? Well, you ask your mother and what is she supposed to say? Well, we will see right away what she says. Oka san, ima terebi wo mite mo ii desu ka? Oka san, is it all right if I watch TV now? Ima benkyo shita hou ga ii desu, terebi wo minai de. Now, kudasai is not going to be used over here naturally because it is mother, someone older, it is not a request. She will say terebi wo minai hou ga ii as is given over here. Ima benkyo shita hou ga ii. So, let us see what happens now. You have ongaku tabako. Oyatsu and you have 
kite, sutte, and tabete, kikanai de kudasai, suwanai de kudasai, and tabenai de kudasai. Naturally, if it's not your okasan, your friend, then kudasai is going to be used in polite form, and if it is someone older, then it can stop over here as well. For example, okasan, ima ongaku wo kiite mo ii desu ka? Ima benkyou shita hou ga ii desu. Simple answer. Ongaku wo kikanai de ne? A direct no. Then you have tabako. For example, you are not very comfortable with the smoke of tobacco. So, your friend will ask, ima koko de tabako wo sutte mo ii desu ka? Iie, koko de tabako wo suwanai de kudasai. Please do not smoke over here. Or, you are going to have dinner and just half an hour before dinner, you want to have oyatsu, which is snacks. So, naturally, okasan will say, oyatsu wo tabenai hou ga ii desu. Ima oyatsu wo tabenai de kudasai. So, that is how you will use and you can ask, okasan ima oyatsu wo tabete mo ii desu ka? Tomodachi ni probably you could ask, tabako wo sutte mo ii desu ka? Ongaku wo kiite mo ii desu ka? Any of these. Then, you have comparisons over here. There is a simple small picture of this girl. She cannot read, so she wants to buy new specs. And what happens? Okasan, megane wo katte mo ii desu ka? Katte mo ii desu. Or a direct answer, katte mo ii desu yo, you can buy. Permission is given. Then, you can also say, okasan, megane ga hoshi desu. Katte mo ii desu ka? Katte mo ii yo, direct answer because it is someone who is older to you and your okasan who can be very, very informal. Or just a direct answer, you could say, dozo. Then, okasan megane wo kaitai kara kai ni itte mo ii desu ka? So, you have two forms, three forms over here joined together. Okasan megane wo kaitai kara, I want to buy megane, thus kai ni for the purpose of buying itte mo ii desu ka? And itte mo ii yo. That's all right. You can go and yo, you can only use very, very informally where you are very, very informal and older than the person you are using yo to. You cannot use yo with your teachers or people older to you. Then we have okasan, ashita tomodachi to issho ni megane wo kai ni itte mo ii desu ka? Together with and okasan can say itte mo ii yo dozo just a simple ii desu yo dozo itte mo ii yo you can reply in any which way you want there's another picture over here for you going for a walk with the dog well sampo ni itte mo ii desu ka dozo you have dozo over here could be just a simple answer dozo dozo ii yo Dozo itte kudasai. Dozo itte mo ii desu yo. It's all right if you go. It's all right with me if you go. So, that is asking permission. Now, if you do not want to give permission, then what do you say? You have this gentleman over here watching TV. Well, terubi o mite mo ii desu ka? Asking, hai dozo mite kudasai, polite. Hai dozo mite mo ii desu yo or mite mo ii desu. It's all right with me if you watch. Iie minai de kudasai. Please do not watch. And then, iie mite wa ikemasen is no, you cannot watch. Mite wa ikemasen. 
if you watch it is not something that I am going to accept. So, when you refuse then you can use this form iie mite wa ikemasen. Terubi o mite mo ii desu ka? Iie mite wa ikemasen. Not allowed, not acceptable is what it means. Well, then there is another form which is a very simple form and please I would like to tell you that the forms covered here in class in these during these lectures are forms actually which you will use during daily conversation. These are simple forms which are used regularly and easy to remember. So, there is another form which I want you to do which is nagara, verb plus nagara. Now, how will you make this form and what does it mean? Iki mas, yomi mas, tabe mas, kaki mas. Now, how will you make this form? Just remove the mas form from here and put nagara, which means performing two activities two actions at the same time. For example, watashi wa oshie nagara arukimasu or aruki nagara oshiemasu. Watashi wa terubi o mi nagara kocha o nomimasu or I could also say performing two actions benkyo shi nagara rajio o kikimasu or benkyo shi nagara ongaku wo kikimasu or benkyo shi nagara terubi o mimasu or terubi o minagara benkyo shimasu. So, whenever you are performing two activities, two actions together simultaneously then nagara form is used. For example, over here you have rao san, rao san wa raji o kiki nagara benkyo shite masu ne. Mm. Daijobu desu. I am all right with it. So, Rao san, while listening to the radio, you do your benkyo, you study. So, he says, yeah, it is all right with me. You can practice this. For example, Rao san, terubi o minagara, repoto o kakimasu ne, or kakimasu, a statement. And Rao san could say, mm, daijobu desu, watashi wa daijobu desu, I can do both. Or denwa o shinagara, repoto o kakimasu ne, denwa de hanashinagara, repoto o kakimasu ne, or ongaku o kikinagara, tabemasu ne. So, whichever time, whenever you do two activities simultaneously, this nagara form can be used very very easily. Now, over here rao san wa raji o kiki nagara benkyo ga dekimasu ne, you are able to study while listening to the radio, mm, daijobu desu. Rao san can also say yeah, I am absolutely all right doing both these activities. Then you can practice over here, for example, this gentleman is talking on the phone and writing something. So, well, then wa de hanashi nagara shigoto o shite imasu, stalking and writing. And of course, you can see Rao san over here, he is doing something, listening to music on the radio and benkyo shi nagara radio o kite imasu is listening to radio while studying. So, this is how you can practice nagara form and do a lot of conversation. You have done a lot of things now, lot of forms and I am sure by now your Japanese is simple and you are able to speak and talk and say a lot of things, ask about a lot of things in Japanese. Well, you also need to finish your hiragana and katakana which is very, very important. So, well you have the ba set today, ba, bi, bu, be, bo. And the same is for 
katakana as well ba bi bu be and bo you can compare the two try to remember one at a time once this is done this series is done then try to go on to the next series please then you have also the past series and you will notice that again the syllables are same except for this small circle over here on top in all. So, well pa, pi, pu, pe and po and then you have pa, pi, pu, pe and po. Please remember that this is your katakana and hiragana. Use a graph sheet to write these that will make it very, very proportionate. And now, we have a couple of kotovaza for you. Well, the first one is isseki nicho as you can read over here isseki nicho. One stone, two birds is the literal meaning of this kotovaza. Now, we have been talking about kotovaza all along. I have been telling you that what kotovaza is. These are simple simple words joined together, simple small sentences joined together to say something in a very, very intelligent way, in a very small sentence you are able to say something very, very important, something which has lot of meaning that is what kotovaza is. Proverbs are very, very cultural also. Depending on the culture, depending on the people, idioms and phrases are made. So, this is very um, Japanese, this kotovaza. Literal meaning of course, is right here. You have done this kanji also and this is for birds. Now, what does it actually mean? There is an English proverb also, killing two birds with one stone doing two things by just performing a simple single action. So, well, this is what it means, but what is the important part in it? The important part is that killing one bird itself is something very difficult, a uh, very, very difficult task. If you can manage to do something, to get something out of it more than is expected, that is what is more important, that is that is what you should aim for and that is what the Japanese do, that is what everybody probably does and would want to actually, that perform one action and try to get maximum benefit from it. So, when you are multitasking, when you are doing a lot of things, then a kotovaza like this, a proverb like this helps a lot. Killing two birds with one stone, doing two things by just getting two things by just performing a single action. And well, there is another kotovaza for you and you can see this coin over here, this neko over here and lot of coins, lot of koban in front of the neko. Well, what does it mean? What is the kotovaza? The kotovaza is neko ni koban. Koban is money. These are these are old coins used were used in Japan long, long back, and money was transferred from one person to another in gold coins. So, well, showing coins, gold coins, something so precious, important to a cat. What does it mean? Well, it has no meaning at all. If you show something that precious, that important to someone who does not appreciate it, does not know the meaning or understand the meaning of it. It is given over here, giving something of value to a person who does not value it, who does not understand the value of the present or thing given to the person. 
does not understand the value of what is being given or offered. Giving a gift to someone who cannot appreciate it, meaning basically a wasted effort. Like over here, if you give a lot of money to a cat, it does not have any meaning. The cat cannot do anything with the money. So, please nekoni koban. Now, the interesting thing what I want to tell you over here with these two kotowaza is the complete proverb is never used by the Japanese. And they just say for example over here nekoni koban, half of it as you can see over here is seki nicho. So, one stone two birds is not complete. Killing two birds with one stone is the actual meaning. So, well half of it is only used, the whole proverb is never used in Japanese. And we have a small expression for you now. This you have done earlier as gomen kudasai and dozo. Now, you have this haitte mo ii desu ka sumimasen, haitte mo ii desu ka another expression haitte mo ii desu ka we have just done. So, well dozo haitte kudasai. So, asking permission before entering is what it means. You could say simply gomen kudasai, knock knock, gomen kudasai and now as you have learnt this, well haitte mo ii desu ka, is it alright if I enter and after the permission is granted, you may enter. Dozo haitte kudasai, you have the permission to enter now. And there is another one over here, sumimasen, saki ni kaitte mo ii desu ka. Is it all right if I go before you or earlier than you? Well, i desu yo, dozo itte kudasai could also be used. So, you can use mo i desu ka in this pattern. These expressions are very clear, they make it very, very clear how to use it. And then, of course, in the end, you have your shukudai to do, you have your assignments to do and there are a lot of assignments for you. You can see of course, the kanji is there, tick the correct kanji, then write mass form for these verbs which are in te form, then make sentences with the help of clues given. For example, you have kore tabemono sushi, to you is what you are supposed to use, kore wa nan to you tabemono desu ka. This is the example, you can use these two over here. I think is given and all these words in English are given, you can, you can try to use these clues and write sentences. And then what would you do in these situations. So, please write about this about 10 lines each and let us see how much you can do. You can check what you have done so far, what you have learnt and you can correct it very nicely as all the forms are given and all the vocabulary is given for you. So, you can check it out yourself. Try to write 10 lines each on these situations that have been given over here. And with that, I will leave you today. Sore dewa minasan, kore de owarimasu kara, kondo mata aimashou. And arigato, thank you very much and see you next time.